Good morning, guys. How are y'all? Today is the big day for the reveal of the office, so um, I really hope that you like it. I'm in here now. Um, you see the cabinet behind me that I showed you the other day. I have ordered some curtains. I think they'll be in maybe the end of the week. And I got a rug to put in here, so I'll show you that. But I can't wait to show you, so let's go. Okay, so here it is. Here is the office. I kind of, well, you see my coffee there already. There's the rug that I got. I should have got it a little bigger, but um, I didn't do my measurements before I left, so we're gonna go with that one. But it should have been a bigger size. I'll show you. I got one for the entryway too. I thought it was real pretty. And once again, it should have been bigger as well, but it is what it is and we'll go with it. So, here's one of the bookshelves. I told you I got two of them. And I got them from Ashley's. I got them online and just assembled them whenever they got here. Uh, they weren't bad at all to assemble. That box down at the bottom, that's my parents' mail whenever they get it here. It gets delivered here. I want to kind of go through and show you what I got and where I got it from. Really can't remember the prices. These two candles that are right here, I got both of them at Hobby Lobby. They had both of those half off, but I can't remember the prices of them. I already tore them off. Yeah, I already tore them off. The candles, they were half off at the time as well. I think the prices are on these. $14.99, they were half off of that. They smell so good. It's called Vintage, Vintage Lux. They smell really good. They've got the wooden wicks in them. <clears throat> I got this lamp at Hobby Lobby when they had the lamps half off. I think I'm gonna call this look um, Industrial Farmhouse. It's kind of what I'm thinking because it's got the industrial look, but it's still kind of got the farmhouse feel where it will blend in with the rest of the house. That love sign I got from Kirkland's, I believe it was like $39 or something like that. And then I had a 25% off coupon. That right there, I got it from Kirkland's as well. And I just put some greenery in there for now. I don't have all my supplies in here yet as far as pens and pencils and all that kind of stuff. But I've been working on the, the look of it more so than stocking it. I'm sorry, I got that at Hobby Lobby. And then I got that piece at Kirkland's, that's what it was. And I just put some greenery in there as well. And then I got that piece at Hobby Lobby. It's got the hooks on it. I just bought some of those little buckets. I thought I could put pins in them or something. I don't know. And it came with that bottle. And then I picked up this heart. It's a metal heart. I got it at Michael's yesterday. It was $10. And then I just put some of my CDs up here. Oh, what CD is that? Can only imagine. I love that CD. For anybody that knows Mercy Me, a Christian band. We'll start over here with this bookshelf. I got this big M. And it's pretty big in size. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And it was half off whenever I got it. That fan I've had for a long time. We had bought it at Canton Trade Days, the place I told you. And then I've got my vintage radio. It's got a record player in it. My husband bought that for me for Christmas last year, or year before. So I have I have a lot of records, and I like to play it from time to time. And then I got this little container and actually it fits my CDs in it real good. 
And then I got this yesterday at Kirkland's an Hourglass. It was $19.99 and I got it for 25% off. I've had that for a while, it's still wrapped up. I don't even know what that company is that sells those. I've had it for so long. But it's a it's a kind of like Scentsy, it smells good when you plug it in. And then I got this yesterday, or not yesterday, I got it last week at Hobby Lobby. I thought it kind of had the industrial feel to it and just stuck some greenery in there. And then the bottom shelf is just a bucket. I hadn't figured out what to do with it yet. I got it at Tractor Supply several months back, if you remember. But I'll figure out what to put in it. There's some cords back there I need to do something with. And then I got that, I thought that was real cute. I got it at Kirkland's, which today is not Sunday, it's Monday the 24th. Then I got this bottle the other day at Hobby Lobby. Thought it was real cute and just bought a fake flower to put in it. And then over here, the top shelf says, wake me up, be awesome. I got that at Hobby Lobby. Of course, Hobby Lobby is my store. And then I got this metal ball. I don't know what you call it, just for looks. Thought it kind of had an industrial feel. Had that vase for a long time. Been going all around the house trying to find a place for it. And I think it goes in here, it fits. And then I just stuck a pillow up there. Amazing great grace, how sweet the sound. And then I got this at Kirkland's a couple of years ago. It lights up, but it's really bright, so I don't like turning it on very much. That's my tripod. That's my sweet daughter, when well, she wants to be sweet. And some books. And then that was me and my husband when we got married. Got married at the house. And then bottom shelf, really don't have nothing to put on it yet. I had some vintage bottles I thought would look cute in there. So I just set them there for now. And then on this wall, I found that at Hobby Lobby. I really liked it because it looked like it was something that was hand done on a chalkboard. I'm not that talented. I wouldn't be able to do all that, but I like these candle holders. They had the industrial look. And I bought a couple of those candles that come on automatic that look like the real fire flame. I wanna get a shell because you see, if I keep backing up, how big this wall is. So it kinda, it needs a shelf underneath it. So I'm gonna get a shelf and put down there, probably a big uh, wood, you know, rustic looking wood shelf. They had them at Hobby Lobby, but they weren't on sale, so I thought I'd wait. And then of course, the popcorn maker that was in here before, I just left it in here and put it in the corner. And then just, this is the, the other shelf that I've already showed you. I just put it over here in the corner. Don't have much to put on it yet. There's some games for when the kids are over here playing. But, and then the TV. So this is the office. This is what I've been working hard on, trying to get it ready. But I really like it. My husband loves it. He says he he would feel comfortable in here because it's not girly, it's not too much like a guy. I could put a splash of color in here if I wanted to, some colored flowers. Um, I'm looking for, you see how tall this wall is? It's the 12 foot ceilings. I'm looking for some words to put over those bookshelves. When I find them, I'll, I'll hang them up there, but I haven't found any yet that I like. But, so that's it. Well, I hope that you liked the office. I hope you liked what you've seen. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do Wednesday. I'm still contemplating. 
I thought about doing the china cabinet and I went out shopping yesterday trying to <clears throat> figure out what I wanted to put in there. I bought a few things so I might do a little bit of a haul of what I got. It wasn't very much. Me and my oldest boy went to town uh, yesterday. He had came in and uh, he wanted to go with me. So me and him went yesterday just for an hour or two and went to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and where else did we go? I think that was it. We didn't, oh, in Kirkland's. So we, I don't know what I'm gonna do in that cabinet. I've got some Easter decor still to put in there. I bought some Easter decor. Um, I found some Ray Dunn on the marketplace, which I was really excited. So I'll bring that to you Wednesday and show you what I got. Uh, but y'all have a good day. It's kind of rainy here and I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to head off to work as soon as I get this video uploaded. So y'all have a good day and I'll see you Wednesday. Bye-bye. If you like what you see, please hit the share button and then there's a notification that's right next to it. It's a bell. If you'll push that, it'll notify you every time I have a new video out. Uh, please share, hit like so we can get the videos out so I can grow my channel. Uh, I thank everybody so much for watching yes. and comments that y'all give me. Um, as far as the volume, I've had several talk about the volume that's on the previous videos. I apologize for that. I'm learning. I went back and was able to change one of the volumes. So um, the rest of them, I can't figure it out. So I'm sorry. Uh, but from here going forward on the past two, I even did it. But I got the volumes turned way down on the music. So... I apologize for that. Y'all please forgive me. Uh, but I will see y'all Wednesday. Y'all keep smiling. Bye.